hey people so um i just got home from work i'm really tired uh very long stupid day but we got a response on my last video that i just read and i, I i've got to say to the person who wrote this video um First off, thank you for replying to that video. Um, but I need to. I, I, and by the way, it's on video vlog number nineteen. This will be vlog number twenty. Uh, but I'm not even. I don't think I'm even going to make this a vlog. This is going to be a straightforward video because I have something to say, <laughs> and this is something I've. Um, I, 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 I don't know, I, I think I've said this before, maybe not on video, but I have talked about similar topics in the past, and I'm just going to spell it right out, it's in the title of the video, because I'm pretty much sitting here and figured out what I'm going to name it, uh, regret does not equal rape. It's that simple. Regret does not equal rape. Regret also does not equal assault. I'm talking to anybody who's over the age of 18. If you're under the age of 18, this does not apply to you because you cannot legally consent. If you're over the age of 18 and you choose to do something, you have now gone from something illegal to something legal. It's that simple. It's like the difference between fighting at a bar and fighting at a boxing ring. In a bar, there's no rules, no referee, no one to stop you, and you are committing assault because you did not consent to either be hit or to hit. Conversely, in a boxing ring, there are rules. There's usually a referee. There's usually somebody who can stop the action. And also, you can send her to be hit. And the other person consented for you to hit them. Same thing's true with sex. Does not matter if you are sober or if you've had something to drink or a little bit of smoke, you chose to be in that state of existence. Whether to be completely sober, having a little bit to drink, or getting a little high, you chose to be in that state of existence. Now, if you did not choose to be in that state of existence, and someone was to drug you, then guess what? You did not consent to be in that state of existence. Therefore, you have perfect right to yell rape, assault, or whatever because you did not choose to be in that state. We are adults. If you're watching this video and you're over 18, you are an adult. Act like it. Don't choose to be in a state of existence and then regret the fact that you chose, while in that state of existence, to do something. You should have more self-control. I keep hearing about the stupid concept of teach me not to rape. 
how about teach people to be responsible for their own life? Don't blame others because you chose to get fucked or to fuck someone. You chose to get drunk or high and then go and put yourself in a situation where you knew that this was possible. Now, if you're walking down an alley and some guy jumps out and mugs you or some guy, you know, some guy does something that, you know, does something you don't like, guess what? You have full right to go and say something. If you're having sex and you say no and they continue, then yes, you have a full right to say something. That is rape. Not you have sex, you wake up, you regret it, and or you get caught and called out by friends or family or whatever, and your only first thought in your head is, he raped me. You are part of the problem. Regret is not a rec- is not tantamount to a crime and for somebody out there for people who want to go and take this oh i was drunk therefore i'm not responsible i'm sorry but you know what i i don't see that as a legal defense for people who are drinking and driving i don't see that as a legal defense for a guy who winds up getting into a fight. Oh, I can I can you know, I can be excused for my actions because, you know, even though I beat that guy halfway to death, I can be excused because I was drunk. Bullshit. Bullshit. You are responsible for your actions regardless. And to blame it on somebody else, whether they're male, female, transgender, whatever. White, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. You, the person who is in the body you exist in, you are responsible for your own actions. Yes, the person who who did things took advantage of a situation. And that was wrong in itself, too. We make that clear. I am not saying that people taking advantage of you is okay. But we need to teach them to be responsible. Don't take advantage of people. How about we teach people not to take advantage of people? Because, I'm sorry, what is part of do, raping doing? That's taking advantage of a person, either through intimidation or force. Teach people not to in- intimidate other people. Don't take advantage of people. Don't lie to people. Be truthful. Be real. Be honest. If you know that when you drink or you get high that you tend to lose control, then be in a situation where if you want to get into that state, you have other people who are more than willing to step up and help you be responsible. But no, no, no. We want to blame everybody but the person who chose to get involved in this situation. It wasn't the person who chose to get drunk. And I don't care how you're dressed. I don't care. I don't care if you're wearing a burqa or you're naked. Nothing in between those two spectrums is okay to rape. Not at all in any way, shape, or form. But when you choose to go into a situation and you know you cannot control yourself, 
then you need to take responsibility for your own goddamn actions. Yes, I understand. You're gonna have, there's gonna be people who are gonna watch this and get really upset with me. Here's the deal. I have been talking about consent on YouTube for nine years. Nine years. My fourth video dealt with consent. So don't come talk to me about I don't understand consent. I understand it far better than you will ever will. I have not only been teaching and doing videos on YouTube for nine years talking about consent. I've talked about it since day one that I basically got into this lifestyle that I'm in. Safe, sane, consensual. Two out of three ain't bad, but one thing is necessary, and that's consent. If you think that it's okay for you just to be irresponsible, to get drunk, to get high, and then just blame it on everybody else, you are a pathetic human being that needs to reassess your life. And I understand I'm ranting here. But I'm tired of the simple, the idea that somehow regret equals rape. Because it doesn't. Now I have a whole other video about affirmative consent that I'm working on. But this particular time, this particular idea of regret equaling equaling rape bugs the fuck out of me because it's just not true. That's it for now. Be well and safe.